There's a scratching. In race number 10, it was going to be quadruple double carrying the six saddlecloth. It's now man star for Victor Wong. So that's the change for the second last on the program. It's over the flying 1,000 metres for the class threes and run, run, cool and pleasant endeavour. Both three-time course and distance winners. Chateau on debut in Hong Kong. Metro Warrior switches back to his preferred course and distance. Invincible Sage, who won three times in Victoria, comes here now with David Hall. Drops of God, first time over the 1,000. Flying high is aiming for three straight. Cheval Valiant, a win and a second at his last two starts. Co-partner Ambition has the cheek pieces off and the blinkers going on. An impressive class four winners down the bottom. Tom, brilliant life and red elegance numbers 13 and 14. He hacked up last time out, didn't he? Yeah, brilliant uh, life. But uh, Cheval Valley will go forward to here with Angus uh, Chung and try and run them into the deck. Yeah, brilliant life won't be far away. Metro Warrior coming back from Happy Valley 1,200 metres to uh, a more suitable contest. And then on the far side, uh, Paul at a barrier for Red Elegant. Zach Purton may be putting up two over with 117. Yeah, so he's um, yeah he's likely to try and get across there. Um, Pleasant Endeavour, Manstar, they shouldn't be too far away. Pleasant Endeavour's been very consistent this season, but Cheval Valiant is a pretty reliable leader. We start with an interview. One of the up-and-comers, Red Elegance, looking to make it two for two. Nick spoke to his trainer, Jamie Richards. Jamie, Red Elegance is arguably probably one of the most ex exciting horses on the program outside of the group race this Sunday. Um, mightily impressive debut from him and, and back to the races he will go for his second start. Yeah, he's, he's in good order. He, he won well first up. He'd uh, been trialling well before that, but probably the ease of the victory was a, was a little bit of a surprise, but a pleasant surprise all the same. So uh, he seems to have come through it well. He's had a nice little maintenance trial since. and. Um, heads back to the races in good shape. You more than anyone would have, uh, I suppose, enjoyed seeing Lucky Encounter win as well. Um, he was good uh, yeah, exactly. next time out. Yeah, for sure. That uh, always gives you a bit more confidence when the horse that places comes out and wins impressively on the big day. So hopefully that bodes well for him. He's had a trial since, uh, Jamie. Um, what was the, the report from Luke Curry regarding his, his trial? Yeah, just a nice maintenance trial. He's not the, he's not the best around a corner just yet. He, uh, mm. It's a little bit lost, so that's why he's sort of been down the straight and down the straight again. Um, but yeah, just maintenance, build, building fitness or maintaining fitness mm. and happy with him. Did you just put that down to, to an experience with him, the, the fact that he probably hasn't quite grasped that, that track now just yet? He's got a sort of short, sharp sort of action. He doesn't have a great length of stride just yet, but um, he came out of Melbourne, uh, obviously going the other way around. Yeah. He's come, come here to Charton and going the Sydney way, which has um, just taken a, a little bit of time to get used to, but he, he, he will get there. Um, but he's, he's a nice horse and he's going to have to be on, on Sunday. It's a uh, you know, pretty pretty good field. Uh, Dennis Ship's horse is going well and there's a couple of young up and coming horses in there. So uh, never easy to be handicapped 10 and um, up into class three for a second start. We'll get a good line on him and, and how he's going. Yeah, it's a bit of a standout as well when you've got uh, Zach Purton carded to do 117, but I imagine there might be a pound or two over there as well. Yeah, it'll be a plus a couple, but 119 uh, is, is, is worth, the, is worth the, a little bit extra. Yeah, certainly better to have him on your side than not, I suppose. Yeah, for sure. He knows the horse well, and um, hopefully the horse will run well again. The opposition to Red Elegance, and there's some speed amongst them. Tom, we start with the Cheval Valiant, who flies down the straight. He was run down this night. Flying High's holding his form. Pleasant Endeavours had a great season. Metro Warrior loves it here. And Run Run Cool, he does have to carry the 135, though. Yeah, so that's a little negative with him. He is a three time course and distance uh, when it was uh, making up a, a little bit of ground over the, the final stages. But Cheval Valiant's been consistent, so they've. Uh, obviously taken the claim with him which has been pretty effective but that horse that's uh, trying to run him down here or Paul and does so flying high is certainly best for that last sort of 200 meter sprint isn't he? He is and they've sort of found the way to ride him now and he's won his last couple he goes in and also Pleasant Endeavour has been so consistent down the straight 1000. They sure have speaking of straight 1000 Paul brilliant life this was so very easy wasn't it? Didn't it? Didn't he win well, this horse? He was, uh, he was never going to get beaten. It's just whether he can put two together, this uh, one, because it took him 12 starts to, to win this race. Uh, the, the stable don't normally um, put two together. That just worries me a little bit. Yeah, look, there was so much market support uh, for him uh, when winning this uh, as uh, well. So interested to see what uh, he can do here. Back up in grade, he's only had that uh, one placing next to his name, Vincent Ho, uh, sticking with him. So he's obviously fairly happy with where the horse is at. He's been back to the trials too. Tom went to Happy Valley on a Friday morning. There he is leading for home here. An invincible sage makes his Hong Kong debut. Raced under the name of... Uh, I can't read my handwriting, so I'll have to tell him. Thrombone, that's it. <laughs>
<laughs> in Victoria. Yeah, he's first to, to race here for the Sire and he had a good level of form in Australia. He ran second in a, a Brian Crowley stakes at Randwick. He'd run fifth in a, a Vain stakes at Caulfield. Paul, the winner of that race was a Giga Kick and oh, I like the way he finished off here in his trial. So do I. I thought it was a really good trial from the source. So yeah, I'm definitely going to include him. I thought he was uh, he's looking good. Comes out of the Jerome Hunter stable in Victoria now with David Hall. Good race this, Paul. Yeah, really good race. I, I like Real Elegance on debut. I'm going to stick with him. Uh, I think he can uh, go up and grade and win. Uh, Invincible Sage with that um, uh, f first start here in Hong Kong, but uh, under that really good trial. Flying Highs won his last couple in Pleasant Endeavour. 14 5 8 2. Yeah, I really like what I've seen for the, the trials from Invincible Sage out of the uh, David Hall uh, barn and uh, Hugh Bowman's riding. So five on top ahead of for 14 Red Elegance, two uh, Pleasant Endeavour and nine Chevelle Valiant from Barrier One. We'll just have to come across it from there. Five, 14, two and nine. No room for the Cairns Flyer, Tomodachi Kokoro. He did have some very good form around North Queensland, but he comes to the big time at Sha Tin for his Hong Kong debut. He was formerly known as Bank, Bank, Bank.